Hey guys, Alex is Gunnate here and welcome back to another Crusaders Quest video. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be checking out uh, the new patch that came out yesterday. Um, it looks like it's a bit of a, a half patch when compared to the last one. Um, I'm just looking at the, the patch notes here, it's called, the patch has an official name apparently, Tower of Manikar Part 2, Road to Ruin. So um, that's what we'll be checking out today. Um, I just want to make a quick, quick note. Uh, I want to apologize for last week not having a video out. Um, I know I said every Friday I'd have something out, but it was middle of exams for me and really struggled, so uh, that won't happen again, don't worry. Um, and also, as you've probably no doubtedly noticed, hopefully, hopefully it actually works and I'm actually going to have this up, but um, I've got the camera on. So uh, I figured out a way to finally not get laggy footage. So um, hopefully it's a bit of an improvement for you guys and hopefully you guys don't mind that. Um, let me know what you guys think. And uh, if you don't like it, don't worry, I'll get rid of it. <laughs> don't want to see my ugly face. I can understand. Um, but let's go check out what's new. So um, it's not a terribly large patch. Um, there were only a couple things. So first and foremost, probably the most noticeable, is the new ancient dungeon called Road to Ruin. Um, so that's the whole name of the patch basically. Is that up right now? Oh, it is too. So there's some new legendaries and they look really sick. You can see two of them here. There's a uh, an archer and I think that one's a hunter. Uh, no, it's a priest. Oh, that's a really cool archer. Um, let's go check it out in the tome. It's gonna say the tome, but uh, yeah, there's this, the library. So um, I've already clicked on it once. It gives you like a little bit of a story, a little bit of a background. It's actually not too boring. It's a little bit interesting. I feel these other things that once you get into it might be a bit boring. But uh, we've got Pandora here. Have you heard? That's, there are new stories. Oh, you're here for them. So uh, we've got the tome here still and then we've got the weapon tome. So those two are already there. I think we already had the quest. So if you want to like replay story, story bits. But then there's this, which is officially called stories. That's something new. Not entirely sure how this works but you can get rewards from it. So this one looks like if you've unlocked certain cadets, you can see the story and you get 100 honor just from watching it. So it looks like you just have to have these and uh, you get rewards. So let's go and do this one just so you guys get the, the idea of it in case you haven't done it already. So um, the requirements of this one was to have clear a stage and it was something else, you can see what it was there. So it, they just, you got to read it, unfortunately. It would have been really nice if it was like a proper sh show, a proper story where they're, they're going to put on voiceovers for you. Long time no see, everybody. Been a while. Been in the desert a while. How was my desert? Oh, Nina's back. Oh, I missed you so much. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 you guys get the idea. So they're, they're not terribly long. Well, the first one I clicked on wasn't terribly long. Um, it's really random, but I don't know, it might be good for a laugh if you read it. There could be some funny stuff in there, I imagine. So that's probably it. Yeah, and you get the reward. So it's a kind of like another form of format of quest, just things to unlock. So uh, that's definitely not bad. So yeah, some pretty cool rewards in there, which is really nice. There's gems, free gems. So that's really sick, actually. So uh, some of them have harder requirements, other ones are pretty easy, like that one's nothing. And it's stuff that you just can collect over time anyway. So uh, yeah, really cool stuff. Um, illustrations, is that new? Oh, yeah, check check this out. Whoa. It's like some kind of playing cards, I don't even know, but it's for all the legendary heroes, they've got their own. Um, so once, I think it must be once you max them out or something. Maybe you need them at a certain star level. Yeah, it looks like Leon's at four stars here. And he's got it. Yeah, I don't know. I reckon it's cool illustration. If nothing, if if be nothing else. Yeah, so uh, th those are the two new legendaries. Oh, actually, no, I didn't actually show you guys the legendaries. Let me just go back into Hero Tome. So we've got legendary. Um, what have we got? Legendary was the priest. Here we got Melissa, Black Sister Melissa. I'm not sure how good she is or not, but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then we've got the Archer here, Demo Demona the Red Lotus. She looks really cool. 
really creepy. Yeah, don't mind that. Um, so that's the Road to Ruin, the New Ancient Dungeon. That's the library. There's the changes in the PvP. So if you're heading to Colosseum, I've already got a... Uh, I checked this out once, I did one battle. Uh, it's saying the reward here was 10-1, but for the first battle, I got 40 honor, which is really cool. So I'm not sure if that's a visual glitch or what it is, but let's go uh, give this a shot, see if we get the 10. I think 10's still an increase for only a second battle. The main purpose behind it was um, to increase the, the rewards earlier on, which you can't argue with. Um, and it's got, it says max rounds is now reduced to five, but it's been like kind of rebalanced, so it's not too bad. Um, yeah, it used to be 10 obviously, now it's down to five. And also the later rewards, so the earlier rewards have been uh, boosted, but the later ones have been reduced, kind of in that balancing. Yes, it's only 10 on over there, but the first one was 40, so uh, yeah, I can see what they're kind of doing with it. Improvements, if you're a lower player, I think, I'd say. Um, yeah. What else we got? We got... The last thing that's probably noticeable is there's been a couple new premium contracts that have been added. So these are premium only fighters. So uh, let's head back to the Hero Tome, check them out. So I think there's... Let me just check the, uh, the patch notes here. So, hmm. There's an archer, so it should be the last one here. Noble Magnus, pretty cool. Looks like he's got some pretty decent stats. Check that out for yourself. Um, and Hunter. So uh, Dark Slayer Wilm, something like that. And he's another premium only one, so uh, yeah, cool stuff. Not entirely sure how good they are. You guys can uh, go check that out yourself and judge it for yourself. Um, because I, I personally don't haven't even read it yet, and it'll probably take too long. So those are the main things that have been added. There's also been a bunch of uh, other things that have been balanced. Things have been tweaked around. Fighters been boosted. That passive moves have been changed for a couple. Um, nothing too noticeable. And there's been quite a few bug fixes, which is good to know. Um, yeah, I'm going to have the link to the patch notes in the description if you guys want to go through it, check out what all those, uh, those other bug fixes and the other changes and stuff are, so uh, make that easy for you guys. Um, that's probably going to be it for this one, just make it a short one, and uh, yeah, hopefully now I'm done with exams, so uh, yeah, don't worry, it'll be a weekly thing now, I promise, um, at the minimum. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, hopefully you guys are liking the new format. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe for more Crusaders Quest videos. Have a good one. Bye. Oh, and there's a new loading screen. Cool.